words from the Wyoming County District Attorney today directed at state leaders in the wake of a horrific crash that killed three people early Sunday morning. Dave McKinley explains why the DA is fired up and has the latest on the charges against an alleged drunk driver and the victims involved. The chief of the Verysburg Fire Department says his troops are still reeling over the carnage they found here at this intersection to which 75 emergency responders eventually came. I've been in the fire department here 39 years. It's probably one of the most horrific things that I have attended. Nine members of a New Jersey family traveling in a seven passenger minivan headed to Niagara Falls T-boned by a driver in a vehicle which failed to obey a stop sign. Two women and a four year old passenger in the van were killed. Another four year old is still fighting for her life at Oshai Children's Hospital. But there's another disturbing side to all this according to Wyoming County District Attorney Donald O'Gene. During the past few days I've seen and heard some conversations focusing on the victim's actions. He's talking about how seven of the nine passengers were ejected from the vehicle, likely due to the fact they were not using either seat belts or child safety seats. But that is not what caused the death, deaths of these victims. There's only one cause of that, and that is the alleged actions of Mr. Sawicki. He's talking about 20 year old Richard Sawicki of Lackawanna, who was allegedly drunk and is now charged with aggravated vehicular homicide and being held on $100,000 bail. And though he could get 25 years behind bars if convicted. In New York State, that is a Class B nonviolent felony. And O'Gene sees the opportunity to blast the criminal justice reforms included in Governor Cuomo's latest budget adopted by state legislators, which included changes to the bail system under which he claims a person accused of a nonviolent felony could conceivably not have any bail set under laws going into effect six months from tomorrow. In fact, if Mr. Stowicki is still in jail on January 1st and he is charged with the same charges as he is right now, he will walk out the door of the Wyoming County Jail. These bail changes are repugnant, and maybe this case will open the eyes of the pro-criminal New York State leaders. But what they say needs to be remembered the most is thoughts for an out-of-town family who were traveling on what was supposed to be a joyous and memorable occasion, which turned into tragedy on a country road. In Verysburg, Wyoming County, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.